failure in this case was the, the main structure itself. You know, something something moved, something shifted. Uh, that uh, the water was not going where it was intended to go. You know, the idea was that it be contained in that chute. And at the end of the chute, you see these big blocks. These are dentates that break up the jet of water and spread that out and help dissipate the energy. They saw our capabilities, potential, our resources, what we could do, and asked if we were interested in being a part of the team that the California Department of Water Resources was putting together uh, to basically rebuild, reconstruct uh, the repair, repair the spillway and put it back into service. So the model that we built is the tallest model that we've done here at the laboratory. It's a 50 scale model. We've used wood, steel, concrete, acrylic um, to build this and we have replicated the gated structure. So this is the main chute, uh, the, the, the structure that supplies the chute of water that was damaged. The, the flow of water is very complex and momentum is transferred at the molecular level. And we haven't got computing power enough in the world to model that many molecules at once. And so we turn to physical models. We're simulating floods of the range from 35,000 cubic feet per second up to 277,000 cubic feet per second. To give you an idea, we've got about 1,000 cubic feet per second flowing through the Logan River right now. So take that and multiply it by 277, and that's, that's the kind of flood that this spillway structure is uh, rated to handle. And my crew, I've got some very skilled people who have been working for the last three weeks to modify the the original, you know, the damaged as is uh, condition to put in this, uh, you know, new configuration. One of only a few laboratories of this scale. Um, in this building by itself, we can push 100,000 gallons in through the building. Uh, that's a lot of water. And uh, so for us to be able to be involved in this project, I mean, it's a it's a challenging project and it's very interesting. It's caught the attention of people literally across the globe. When you talk to people who are involved in dam safety, this is a big deal.